students have the right to voice their own opinion, right? All students have First Amendment rights. Um, I think that when students get into high school, they, um, they begin to learn um, about those things that are important to them. Um, and I think you see that a byproduct is, of that, I think, is at times is, is um, student activism. Mountain View High School students, and I would say probably Los Altos High School students as well. Um, I'll kind of lump them together. It's one district. Um, I think have a, a better sense of what's going on in the world around them. I believe that, I believe that all students need to find their voice. Um, and their voice can be found in, in many ways. Um, I think student activism is important because it allows um, students to find, um, to find their passion. My name is Michael Love. I am the president of uh, Liberal Action Club. We started uh, a couple years ago after the Parkland shooting. I, I, I think Parkland I think was more of an awakening for our students. Um, it happened at a high school level. Um, but this recent activism we've been seeing after Parkland shootings and the re recent activism we've seen with um, uh, the, the climate change uh, walkout and protests uh, just the other week. It, it, I mean, these are young high school kids, very young kids getting involved. Middle schoolers, my little sister uh, held the uh, their walkout at her middle school. Like, it's pretty apparent that the that the adults aren't doing anything, all right? Or the adults aren't making change. It's not that they aren't doing anything. That wouldn't be fair. But they aren't making the necessary changes to keep, to keep us safe. So what you, I think what we see from, the, from our students is that their, their protest, their activism, is a request for support, help, create an environment that is safe for us to learn. I've always found uh, it strange that people ask why it's important for students to get involved in activism or politics or anything like that. Um, because it's important for students and young people to get involved in any field, really, like to, to learn the basics of anything, right? Like it's important to learn math, science, history, whatever, right? Um, and your civic duty is a very important thing. Right, it's it's a huge part of our democracy. You know, voting, knowing what's going on uh, with uh, current issues, um, and uh, trying to make it, you know, uh, make uh, positive change. Uh, so, you know, it's important because it's just a huge part of uh, life in America, and uh, we should be prepared for it uh, by the time we're adults. We look forward to people uh, confronting us on our beliefs and. Um, you know, we're, we're open to having our minds changed. Uh, and uh, we just really want to have, like, more of a dialogue um, on campus uh, about those kind of things, uh, about current events, about politics. Uh, and we also want kids to get involved and fight for what they believe in as well, because we can sit around and talk all day about what we believe in. but. Uh, we, we want to get more kids involved in volunteering. Of course, we, we want kids to be volunteering for progressive candidates. Um, and when we get to the general election, Democrats. So we knock on doors and try to get kids to knock on doors, uh, make phone calls for candidates, um, do anything we can to help during campaigns and during elections. We go to try to get kids to come out to rallies, walkouts. <laughs> are important and it doesn't it's not really under the auspices of the school so students have the right um, on their off time to meet as a group in clubs um, and the rules the rules are a little bit more vague in regards to those so students have the right to, tr to form clubs political clubs uh, and clubs have been around for a long, long time. Um, and I think that political clubs probably fit in the same 
realm that others do, I, it, um, as, as any other club. Let me, let me try it this way. Um, I, I think I think political clubs can actually help. It's that trust um, that we or distrust that we currently have in, in our political system um, by being able to speak openly and freely with one another. It's when we close those doors that we start to have the, the, the large distrust. I don't think in general students distrust one another on campus. Um, and in some ways they can help by just trying to understand another group's point of view. Uh, we try to uh, actually make real change. We try to take action.